You've been listening to The Mountain Gardener with local expert Ken Lang. Join the conversation every week as he answers timely garden questions. Email Ken a question directly from your phone to his desktop through the web at watersgardencenter.com. That's waters with two T's, gardencenter.com. Now welcome back your host, Ken Lane. So plants are by no means done once they drop their leaves. They're still actively, they're, they're growing slower. Uh, they're in stasis a bit, but they're, the sap is still flowing. Uh, the, the, the roots are still growing. And so you, you need to care for those plants. So through winter, now through, let's say, March, you need to hydrate or irrigate or water your plants a couple times a month. If we get a heavy snow, I'm talking over six inches, like, like it's wet, maybe you could cut one of those out. But really, you should be watering two times every month. Pick a nice day. You want to be out there watering by hand. Ken, I turned off the drip irrigation. Well, then break out the old-fashioned way. Take the hose out there and water things to keep them happy, especially new plants. You put a brand new maple, brand new uh, uh, spruce, pine, fir. Uh, you're putting new aspens in. Water those because the roots, they root a little bit. They haven't extended the roots dramatically. They'll do that next spring. That's why you put them in now. But you need to pamper them encourage them to keep rooting, keep healthy. And so for my gardens, I, I tend to water. I actually plant quite a bit in the autumn through, you You got easily can plant uh, now through till, till past Thanksgiving, realistically, I mean, easily and have very healthy plants. Uh, evergreens, even farther, even more than that, you can go to the end of the year. And so it's a good time, but you need to water those plants to keep them healthy. That's the secret. That's the insider tip. If you just put them in the ground, water them once, and then they don't, we didn't, we, should, we get no moisture for like three months in, in, in winter, which is very possible. Your plants are going to, they'll probably be okay, but they're going to have some tip burns some some, some things can happen. Why not just hydrate things? My container garden. So I put quite a bit of pansies, a kale, uh, spinach, broccoli. I just love broccoli, fresh broccoli for Christmas dinner, you can plant that and actually harvest that uh, easily. They grow really well. They love these winter vegetables, love to grow uh, because of the bright days. And then they'll take the cold nights and they keep going. So pansies, viola, snapdragons, they look fantastic. So I've put quite a few in my containers. But if I see a cold snap coming our way, which eventually it'll happen, I'm going to go through and I'll, I'll hydrate, I'll hand water my containers to keep them to keep them going. A hydrated plant goes through the cold easily. A dry plant does not. And so plants have an a antifreeze in them. And water is what keeps that antifreeze flowing up and down this, the stems of that plant, whether it's a tree, a shrub, or a flower. So to hydrate that keeps that, that antifreeze, that keeps them from being damaged, uh, it keeps them happy. The other one that will that will benefit greatly. So you've been I've been talking to you for a month. You should fertilize everything. Uh, it, mainly, I'm recommending. Or the only thing we really sell at the garden center is organic food. Some strong organic guy. I think we're all drinking groundwater. I'm going to sell five truckloads of fertilizer in the Yavapai Central Highlands area. I have a responsibility to make sure we don't. I, I have the ability to poison us myself personally at the garden center. I'm just not going to do that. Synthetic fertilizers are just not good. They liquefy so quick, water hits them, they run downstream. Organics, <coughs> excuse me, don't do that. Organics break down slowly over, over a long period of time, which your plants love. They'd much rather have slow, steady nutrients at their root base than to be all at once, release some chemical, you know, Scott's, turf builder all at once. And then it's flushed out and they're left wanting, especially in winter. In fact, winter, you, if you're using sulfates, like a loop, like a ammonium sulfate, it doesn't even come close to working in summer. It doesn't work. You need to switch over to organics or there's some nitri different types of, of fertilizers. And they don't teach you this stuff when you're walking down the, the box store aisle of confusion. Uh, but there, there are different types. The other things synthetics do, they burn off 
all the good things in your soil. I mean, worms hate that stuff. Mycorrhizal colonies, the, the, the fungi, they don't like synthetic fertilizers, but they love organics. And so every time you water, we get some snow or some rain. If you're putting the, the fertilizers I've been recommending for a month, if you haven't fertilized yet, do it. It's super important. Uh, but every time water touches that, it'll release a little bit. And so take it up. Just because they don't have leaves does not mean they're not actually taking up nutrients or actually extending roots. They are. And so you can encourage that. They're taking up water. They are not truly dormant. We're not in the Midwest where you get frost line and it just the ice, the, the ground turns to ice. Here that hardly ever happens. Yeah, at the highest elevations, maybe highest elevations, the White Mountains or, or, or Flagstaff, maybe, but even then it thaws for us. So here in the Central Highlands at that 6,000 foot, 6,500 and below, it doesn't freeze. Or if it does, it's for a moment, then it's done. So the plants need you to hydrate and to feed them more than maybe other parts of the country. It's a, it's a big deal. So anyway, um, I don't know why I went off on that tangent, but got a lot more in store for you. Don't, don't change that. I'll be right back right after this. Prescott Blaze Maple is the fastest local tree with brilliant red foliage. Prescott Blaze Maples grow three feet each year. That's fast. Prescott Blaze Maples are perfect for patios or any place a shade tree is needed. We have a limited number of huge, instant Prescott Blaze Maples, but the $249 size is exceptionally nice. The maples are brighter in Prescott at Waters Garden Center. Or shop online at top10trees.com. We believe in roses that smell like a rose at Waters Garden Center. The Mountain Gardener, your source for timely garden advice right for higher elevations. Guaranteed to make a difference in your yard this season. 